you want to make a Minecraft skin, and we're going to show you exactly how. First things first, go to the second link down below, and that takes you here. This is our text guide on making a skin. If you want to go through things at your own pace, you can do so using this guide. It's really good. It goes over everything in depth, but we're also going to show you everything in this video, and what are we going to be making a skin with? Well, the skin decks skin editor. So go ahead and click Minecraft skin editor to open up the skin decks here. And this is where you can really and truly create anything you want when it comes to a Minecraft skin and actually do it on a 3D player model. Now, first, let's run through the tools, but we're going to be editing my skin and changing it a bit, improving it, if you will. So first off, this is your drawing tool. So you can actually draw on the skin with this, place individual pixels, and do whatever you need to in order to, you know, customize the skin. There's also the eraser tool. This allows you to remove different parts of the skin, right? Actually erase stuff on the skin that you've added. And this is really cool. What this is going to do is kind of texturize, if you will, your drawing. So as you can see, if you draw around here, it's going a little bit over and under on color here in order to give it a more natural, if you will, look. The eyedropper tool allows you to say, hey, I really like this color and select it using the color wheel by just clicking on it right like so. You've also got the paint fill. So if you wanted to fill in, for example, the legs in, in its entirety, you can do that right like so. And then, oh, I didn't like that. We can undo it or we can redo it. You've also got the ability to darken your color. It's going to make things a bit darker. If we click it a few times, you'll really see what I mean. Or lighter, so we can really lighten things up too. You can also zoom in and zoom out, as well as mirror the skin from one side to the other. For example, let's say we wanted the arms to be the same. Well, we can do that using this right here. So there you have it. That is kind of a quick overview of these tools. On the right-hand side, we do have the color picker. Let's say we wanted to go to red or orange. We could do that, pink, all of that stuff. And then we also have the body layer and the outer layer. Generally, you're probably going to be editing mostly on the outer layer and then you can go into the body layer if you want and edit more in depth and change specific stuff there. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how all of that works and it would be interesting to see a skin that had one colored as for example green and one colored as red that we could tell what's the body layer, what's the outer layer and decide which one you needed to edit. We've also got this down here which lets you hide different parts which can be very very helpful. For example, if you wanted to change this part of the skin, if the head's here, uh, you can't really edit that so you want to be able to hide that in order to get the most in-depth editing possible. And then we also do have the slim or the classic player model, depending on which one you want to edit and go with. As far as moving your skin around, you can just click and drag on the skin right like so. Uh, if you click directly on it, it won't work. So you got to click next to it and you can edit all in 3D. Now, last but not least, there's these three buttons down here at the bottom. There's the download button, letting you download your skin. There's the upload to skin decks, which is actually this website where uh, there are thousands of custom Minecraft skins that you can download. And then we also have upload from your computer. That's what I'm actually going to do. So I'm going to upload my Minecraft skin. Before we start editing this though, how to message from our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can use the add mods, plugins, mod packs, or host a vanilla server. Whatever you want to do with your server, you can do it. And if you want mod packs, we have a one-click installer to allow you to install them super, super easily. Should you have any issues hosting your server though, there's expert live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. So go show off your skin on your very own Minecraft server at Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. This is the one I've used it for years, but I've never really liked the in on the back. And it honestly, I wish it was a bit more texturized, if you will, when it comes to the actual skin itself and the hoodie and everything. So let's go ahead and hide this. And you can see the outer layer there is the headphones and some of the like the hood here. And the inner layer is going to be, you know, the actual body and clothing and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and texturize this really fast. And then we're going to show you what it looks like before and after, if you will. In order to do this, I'm taking the color picker and then using this right here, this kind of like, like I said, it goes a little lighter, a little darker, and then we can go over this and look at that. Look how much better that is already looking. All right, let's do it. Now on the back of the skin, there's this in and I've, I don't really like it. So let's just go ahead and uh, remove it right like so. And that looks so much better already. And uh, you can see how this texturizing is actually looking. I was mirroring it at first, but I was like, I don't want this to look the same on each side. I want it to look unique. So because of that, I did turn that off as well. And now just doing everything truly unique. So now at this point, the skin looks done. But if we go ahead and hide, 
our, our head there and hide our arms. We can see there's this inner layer that we've not even touched on all of these. And we'll want to do that because as you're walking and your arms and stuff are moving, that will be changed and be seeable and visible. So we want to go in here and make sure that we are editing those as well. Because like I said, you will see these. So it's important that you uh, actually come in here and make them look at least somewhat decent uh, while you're editing your skin. I also noticed that I messed up this kind of like ring that was here. And I did want that to stay. So what we're going to do is uh, manually go back in here really fast and re-add that all the way around the hoodie. So there we go. Boom. Now things are really starting to look good. You can really double check as well if you want. And we do have this that could be changed. I don't think this is going to be as important, but for the sake of making sure things are finished, we will go ahead and do that one as well. So there we have it. This is now my new skin. Let's go ahead and quickly add it in game and uh, see if I like it better. And by the way, there is the outer layer as well. I almost forgot that. And we will need to go ahead and edit this and make this actually, uh, you know, texturized as well. So once you're done creating your skin, you want to go ahead and download it using the download button down here. And it downloads literally instantly. Now you can add it into Minecraft using the default Minecraft uh, skin manager right in the Minecraft launcher. So in the launcher, we can go to skins here. Here's the old skin. We go ahead and do new skin and then we'll do Nick's new skin and we want to browse and select it and that's what it looks like in game really really good if you ask me and we could put this on the slim model if we wanted but uh <laughs> i actually did notice on the slim model we might have uh, we, we have some some blue hands kind of clipping through there but anyway the wide model looks really good and then we'll go ahead and select a cape as well save and use and now if we jump in game we can join into our simple game hosting server and easily preview our skin all we've got to do is hit f5 on our keyboard a few times and it will spin us around and we can see there's the back of the skin there's the fr oh i love this so much there's the front of the skin and we can even see as we're walking because uh we did the arms there it looks good but we actually we actually missed a part of this skin and uh, that's how tricky some of these can be the inner arm we missed so whenever we were making this we hid the arms and did the inside of the arms there but we didn't hide the body so as you can see there is actually the inside of the arms here that was missed it's not very noticeable in game but it is worth uh, you know taking a look at if you are like me and trying to make a brand new skin and be a little bit of a perfectionist while you are at it but anyway I'm going to go ahead and sign off the video here if you did enjoy the video be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week enjoy your brand new minecraft skin i'll see you in the next one peace